Page Pilot Shopify Tutorial Page Pilot Tutorial for Beginners Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be demonstrating and showing you guys the different features of Page Pilot and how to use it. As you can see right now, I'm currently in pagepilot.ai and we're going to get started over here as you can see, my account is brand new. So we will be starting from the beginning just like how you guys would be starting. So over here right now on our screen, you can see that we have a to-do list on what we need to do to get started and how you will be able to use Page Pilot with our Shopify over here. So the first step is to generate our first product page. So we could generate our first product page first before we could connect uh, or you could connect as well. But let's get started with generating our first product page. Just simply follow this, click on this button and you will be able to see here an instructions on what to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the dashboard and we're going to click on generate over here on the top right. Over here, we could choose our product sources, whether it's from Shopify or AliExpress. So let's use AliExpress as our example over here. So simply search up AliExpress in your browser and let's look for a product and then we're going to put in our product the URL over here, the product URL inside of page pilot we here so we're here right now let's look for a random product that we could see maybe we could go with this one amd so let's wait for this one to load and uh the product uh, over here let's select this one new amd ryzen 7 let's open this in itself open it or we could have this as you can see now what you're going to do is you're going to copy the URL link, go back to page pilot, paste the URL link inside of the product source, and you could also enter the product angle if you want, and then you could select the language over here. Then let's simply click on generate, and it's basically going to open AliExpress in itself like this thing that we're seeing, and what it's going to do is it's going to scrape all the data it's seeing from the image to the videos to the price the name the description everything related to this product it will scrape it as you can see so we're going to simply wait for this entire process to finish and what page pilot will be able to do for us it, it will generate as a very unique and very good product a page for our shopify products so it could look really unique for your different uh, products so if you are bored with the typical appearance of your product pages on your Shopify and if you want to kick it up a notch or like uh, make it significantly better make it unique make it catchy make it uh, visually appealing you could use our page pilot over here to create us a really unique page so over here right now currently it's in 95 percent so uh, it should be finishing up soon uh, let's preview what our current product page is right now. I have two products, a random products that I had in our Shopify store over here. That we should be able to uh, view inside of our store. Still 95, so we're simply going to uh, give it more time. So over here, as you can see currently, this is what my product page look like, as you can see, or looks like. So over here, let's give it more time. Now, sometimes you will get an error like this. If you're having issues with your uh, product or like the URL, uh, what you could do is you could copy the entire section at the front only. Let's put it back. Generate. If that doesn't work, uh, you could go and look for another product. So you might encounter issues every now and then. And uh, while waiting, uh, let's give it another chance.
Now, this is what it would look like after successfully getting a URL or like after successfully uh, getting a proper URL for AliExpress. I looked around for different types of products and this one uh, was the one that worked for me. I guess some uh, links are not functional, but I got this one over here. This is our product over here. And this is what PagePilot has given us, as you can see. Uh, we have the main product over here. You have these buttons over here, as you can see. Uh, it looks really great. It looks really professional, as you can see. They could scroll down and there's multiple buttons over here that would allow them to get the product. And there's even reviews over here, which is really great. And uh, the good thing about this is that you could also modify the different sections, as you can see. So if you want to modify a specific, a specific part, so maybe, for example, this one, uh, we might want to add 2.4 GHZ and 5. GHC as like an additional information uh, we could also add that we could modify multiple sections or different parts of our uh, section over here there's also variants over here that we could have and after this what we could do is we could either connect to Shopify store we could also import it to AutoDS we could also download the entire HTML of this so if you want the code in itself you are also able to get it but let's go and connect it to our Shopify store. And what you're going to do is you're going to uh, follow the instruction here. It's going to guide us. So we're going to go to our uh, Shopify. Click on our apps over here. Apps. Then apps and sales channel. And after that, let's click on next. We're going to... Click on development or app development. So let's go here. We're going to uh, look for development apps. This button over here. Select this. And we're going to click on allow custom app development. Click allow again. And after that, we're going to click on create an app. Now we're going to name it page pilot. Click on create app. And after that, we're going to check out the next section over here. Uh, what it's going to do, it's going to ask us to configure admin API scope. Here we go. After that, we're going to check all of this sections over here. So uh, all the section that is under or other products and teams. So let's look for products and teams over here. You don't really need to touch anything else except for the product and team. So we're going to enable products. And for the teams, there we go. Enable this. And then we're going to click on save. Now after that, we're going to uh, do the step four. It's going to ask us to install. So click on install app. Install. Now give it a few seconds. And there we go app has been installed and what we're going to do is we're going to get now our uh, key our Shopify key so we're going to uh, reveal this copy and now we're going to put our uh, Shopify key over here uh, for our store we're simply going to copy the URL link there we go click on connect store the store is password connected so uh, Shopify accounts that are not uh, having or does not have a premium version will have a password. So right now with my account, since I'm only using a free version, my a store is going to have a password. And if you want for the password to be removed or like the URL where the password is, uh, you would need to upgrade your plan. So uh, if you follow the instructions, follow the process that I have been showing you, it's going to be the same process. Uh, you will be able to transfer and connect whatever you did in Page Pilot into your Shopify store once you have done this, successfully connecting it. But uh, if you need to, uh, if you want to connect it, you just need to pay $1 uh, a month for the current rating or the current uh, plans of Shopify. But that is how you will be able to connect and use Page Pilot on Shopify. So uh, that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.